And what's your average salary? Uh, my average salary per month after tax is roughly uh, about 60,000 kwai. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my field, you have to have a, a good personality, a good attitude. You have to be able to go out and engage with people that you necessarily might not talk to normally, especially in China. You know, you can't be afraid to just get into it. Yes, welcome back again to another episode of Living in China happening right here on King Quest's channel. If you are here and you like this kind of content from China, people sharing their everyday experiences, then please do watch, subscribe to the channel, like, subscribe, share, comment, and let's grow the channel together. Kings and queens of this channel, 25th October is my birthday. So as a birthday present, I want you guys to like this video, share, subscribe, tell someone about my channel, and let's grow this channel together as my birthday gift. I know you do this for me as a community, right? <laughs> so when I was in Shanghai, I decided to do this street interview, which to me was more of a personal issue here because I was asking foreigners how much they make averagely every month. And most of the people that I talked to were not very, very comfortable to talk about this on camera. Few people did, and this is what they said. Let's go watch the video. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. King question right here. See you on the other side. Tell us your name, where you're from, and how long you've been in China. Uh, I'm Dan from Australia. I've been in China for almost five years now. Five years okay. in China. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Ryan. I'm from Boston. I've lived here uh, about three years in Shanghai now. I moved here for work for a, uh, a project that I'm uh, currently on uh, in the marketing and advertising industry. How long you been in China? Yeah. I'm Derek. I'm from Germany, uh, from Bavaria, and I'm in China since October 2018. 2018. Yeah, it's around four years now. Around four years. Okay, so can you please tell us your name, where you from, and how long you've been in China? Uh, my name is Gokje Shiva. I'm from the UK. I've been in China for around over a year. Over a year. Which sector do you work? Uh, tech. Tech. Yeah. And and what's your average salary? Uh, my average salary per month after tax is roughly uh, about sixty thousand kwai. Every month. Every month. <laughs> that's <what> I... <laughs> so that's. Uh, <laughs> So in China, it's uh, I mean it's a great salary I think because you can go out uh, and explore the city and not have to worry about uh, you know affording dinner because there's so many wonderful restaurants here. Uh, it's nice to be able to go out and enjoy. What is your and uh, what's your average salary a month? This and this is this is my average salary a month here in China or yeah. in Europe? In China. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me, man. I appreciate the service. Thank you. What is your average salary a month? I can't remember. I actually just can't remember. Uh, it's around. It's decent enough. It's. Uh, I think. The thing is, I'm not good with the Chinese yuan, so I'm not very good. At, I usually remember in my home country's currency. But it's, it's like around 30k where I'm from in in England. So it's decent. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for talking to me. No I appreciate the time. Thank you. Major in the university. My major was economics and finance, um, and I ended up working at a marketing and uh, advertising company. And I'm currently working on a uh, global uh, finance project uh, to install this software at all their their companies around Asia. <laughs> which which sector do you work? In? I'm working in the automotive industry. Right. And uh, how long have you been doing that? Um, I'm doing that since um, probably 25 years, but here in China since four years. What did you study in the university? I was studying in, in Germany in uh, mechanical engineering. Okay. If someone is in your field coming to China to work here, what's one thing they should know before coming? Uh, what's one thing they should look for coming here? Yeah. As to in, work in your field. Oh, to work in my field. Um, I think that they should, uh, in my field you have to have a a good personality, a good attitude, you have to be able to go out and engage with people that you necessarily 
might not talk to normally, especially in China, you know, you can't be afraid to just get into it and uh, start speaking to the local people. And I think that's one of the things people coming to China need to understand, just get involved and you'll have a lot of fun. Um, which sector of Chinese economy do you work? Uh, in fitness and wellness. Fitness and wellness. 